Hi friends, welcome to Python Pandas course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see what is Pandas and how to install and use Pandas. Or simply introduction to your Pandas and how to install and use your Pandas. Okay, let me go with the introduction to Pandas. See, Pandas is a Python library. That means you can use this Pandas in your Python. And it is not a default or standard Python library. That means you need to install this Python library called Pandas before going to use in your Python programming. Okay, anyway, we will see that how to install and use that. And actually this, the word Pandas is an acronym, which is derived from Python and data analysis and panel data. So by going with this acronym, you can come to know what is the purpose of your pandas, right? Now simply the purpose of your pandas is, pandas is used for data manipulation and data analysis. Just assume that you're having some Excel sheet or CSV file in that you're having some data. If you want to do some manipulations in that, if you want to change some data, if you want to delete, if you want to insert, right? If you want to modify, that manipulation you can achieve with the help of pandas or if you want to analyze some data from your existing sheet yes you can use this pandas to do that right so pandas works with labeled and relational data it may be labeled and relational data and pandas works well even with rough and unlabeled data also not only your labeled Sometimes if you have data with unlabeled, with that unlabeled data also, if you want to do some manipulation and analysis on that unlabeled data, yes, Python will help us. Okay, so when you want to use this pandas, of course, you will come to know by this manipulation and analysis. In that case, you, you can use pandas. But simply I can give, uh, still if you are unable to understand, so when you have to use this pandas. So for that, suppose if you want to work and analyze data effectively with uh, the data which is there in CSV and Excel sheets. So without pandas, you are having separate modules to work with that, like CSV module. If your data is there with CSV, you are having CSV module to work with CSV files. Suppose if your data is there with Excel sheet, not to read, you are having Excel or D module in your Python. And to write, you are having Excel WT module in your Python, right? So instead of using separate modules to do some analysis and manipulations on your Excel and CSV files, you can use simply pandas. So much powerful building blocks are there with your pandas. So compared to your CSV, Excel RD, Excel WT modules, you are having a lot of advantages by using pandas. So you will come to know what are lot of advantages while going through this course. Okay, so simply it helps us to analyze our data and manipulation of our data. And this panda, pandas will also help us to analyze data from database. So if you have some data in your database, yes, you can also analyze that data in your database, whatever the data is there, that data you can also analyze with your pandas, right? So pandas provides special data structures and operations for the manipulation of numerical tables and time series. And sim or simply for real world data analysis, you can use pandas. Now to analyze this real data, real world data, in your pandas, you are having special data structures and operations. Okay. And one more thing, to use this pandas, you should have numpy on your in the collection of your python libraries so on your host you should have numpy module otherwise it won't work of course if you don't have numpy while installing pandas pandas by default will install numpy if it is already there in your system it won't install if it is not there while installing pandas it will also install numpy as well we will see that okay so actually why 
pandas is built on the top of numpy means that numpy is required by your pandas okay so guys this is very simple introduction about your pandas now if you want to use your pandas i told that it is not a default a standard python library that means it is third party library you need to install them on your host before going to use this now we know in even from our previous video series right we are having one command called pip using that you can install any third party module or library right so how to install pandas so simply pip install pandas suppose if you have anaconda distribution on your host you can also use this one conda install pandas okay but here i am going with the default python software so i am going to use pip command to install my pandas right so first let me open my command line just i am going with my python shell i am trying to import numpy there is no module called numpy and even i am trying to import pandas there is no pandas and numpy just come out and use your pip command to install pandas and see what it's going to do it will install pandas but at the same time it will also install your numpy as well because pandas depends on numpy that's why it will also install numpy module as well just give me some time so that it will download and install your pandas see you will if you observe in the log of your installing your pandas you will see somewhere numpy will be installed that log you will see here just observe here see collecting numpy so it is also downloading and installing numpy as well so after installing pandas just to go to your python shell and try to just import numpy so that numpy will be imported so installing collected packages numpy and pandas both are installing suppose if you have already numpy on your host at that time it will say something requirement already reached for numpy now installing only pandas that log you can see here in case if you already installed numpy module on your host so as of now i don't have any modules no like numpy and pandas that's why it is installing both okay just give me some more time so that the installation part will be completed just observe here the log yes it's done right okay just now enter into your python shell and import first numpy and check it see i'm not getting any import error means numpy is already installed that means while installing pandas it is also installed numpy now import pandas as well right so if you don't want to import your pandas as it is pandas if you want to make it as a shortcut if you want to use pandas in your program you have to use always pandas dot something right so what i am doing is i am importing pandas as pd now in your pd pd is nothing but now pandas if you want to take as if you don't want to take as pd you can also take with some different alias name pandas as my pd my pandas my pd right so just observe that pir my pd so that whatever the operations are there with your pandas all are there with my pd because this is just alias name right so import pandas as pd this is generalized way right 
PAN sorry spelling mistake PAN DAX as PD. Now observe that DIR of PD. All operations are same, whatever you are getting here and here. Even if you stride forward, if you import simply as pandas and just see the available operations with your pandas. PAN DAX, right? Yeah. See, all are same. So okay, here while going forward, I am going to import my pandas as PD. Instead of simply import pandas, I am going to use import as PD. Right? If you want to take other than PD, yes, you can take like this import pandas as whatever the name you required. That name you can provide here. Actually, this is alias name. Instead of using this lengthy name, we are going to use shortcut name. That's it. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel so that you will get updates whenever you post some new videos. If you like this, just give your thumbs up on the below of this video.